right, it's Mark Carrier here. I want to talk to you today about uh, using your existing contact points with your customers and leveraging those uh, to acquire retail customer contact details, okay? Now, aside from uh, promoting in-store incentives, uh, retailers should look to leverage all their points of contact with existing and potential customers to cost-effectively acquire their contact details. Now, first place to look is obvious, that's your website. Uh, you've made significant investments uh, in developing your website, or you should have, and building traffic through SEO and uh, pay-per-click advertising. Doesn't it make sense to get more out of your website and recoup some of that investment by also capturing customer contact details? Uh, many customers uh, use the internet to research and learn about you know, those things they're interested in buying, and similarly to visiting your store, the majority of visitors to your website don't buy anything. So even so, you want to collect their contact details and add them to your marketing database. Now, with this in mind, make email collection a priority by including prominent sign-up opportunities throughout your website for your loyalty program or newsletter. And if you're running a competition, create a competition page and a tab in your menu bar or use banner ads throughout your website to direct traffic to your competition homepage. Another area to look at is inbound callers. These are uh, people who call your store or your operation. Uh, at, you know, you may have a call center that you could do inbound calls or even customer service. Now, regardless of whether a call is for customer service to make an inquiry or to complete a transaction, each call is an opportunity to collect an email address. You need to train your staff to capture email addresses with a simple and short script about uh, the special offers and discounts customers receive when providing their email address. If you're running a competition, for example, uh, use this as an opportunity to ask callers if they'd like to enter your free draw. Uh, all you need is their email address to email them an invitation to enter your competition and while there, they'll provide the rest of the details too. Now, referrals. If you haven't created a referral program, you should begin straight away. Aside from growing your marketing database, a referral program will also generate new customers and revenue in the short term. Now, word of mouth advertising has been hailed as the best form of advertising. We've all heard that. We all know the reasons why and the benefits associated with a referral program so get started now. Now, a word of caution though, when acquiring contact details through referral programs, you need to remember that even though your customer provided somebody else's uh, name and phone number, just because they gave you that name and phone number doesn't mean you have permission to call the person who was referred. Okay, you still gotta wash that through. You do not call registry and if you've got their email address, you've gotta be certain you don't have their permission to send them offers either. So you need to uh, look at cleaning that up or not using those records. Social media. Acquiring new customers through your social networks is one of the best ways to grow your database with like-minded potential customers. If you have a Facebook fan page or use Twitter to engage with customers, use these mediums to periodically post an appeal to join your loyalty program or sign up for one of your newsletters. You simply appeal with no incentive or provide a benefit. You know, something like register to receive our newsletter and receive a coupon of X percent. If you're running a competition, make a big splash by announcing it through your social media sites and periodically remind your audience about the competition. Go viral. Provide another entry to the competition for each person that recommended the competition to a family member or friend who actually entered the competition. Direct mail. If you send direct mail to your customers, why not consider using the PS area in the message to have them sign up for your loyalty program or newsletter? If you're running a special promotion or competition, tell them about it there and provide your website address or a URL for them to enter the contest. Bill messages. Do you send bill messages? Um, if you send out invoices to customers, simply add a message on the bill or invoice inviting them to sign up for your loyalty program, newsletter, uh, special promotion, or competition. Another area to look at is letterbox drops. 
Many retailers use letterbox drops with uh, specific offerings or catalogs in their prime market areas to stimulate in-store traffic and sales. Now, many find this to be very cost-effective even though the overwhelming majority of people who receive these offers don't respond. Now, considering you're spending the money anyway, why not get more out of your letterbox drops by including an offer to sign up for your loyalty program or newsletters? Or, if you're running a free competition draw, why not promote that to grow your database too? Um, and lastly, what about SMS text messages or mobile texts? Uh, with the substantial penetration of mobile phones in Australia, text messaging uh, continues to grow each year as a means of stimulating in-store traffic. Now, Depending on your provider, the size of the message and the number of people you contact, text messages can be very inexpensive to deploy. Okay, and those are eight great tactics for you. I uh, hope you have tremendous success with them. Thanks for listening. Any of the uh, templates that I've uh, displayed, budget templates and things like that, uh, they're all available on my blog, so I invite you to go there and you can download them from my blog or find a link to them and you can reach that at www.whatsaleadworth.com or uh, simply send me an email if you're on LinkedIn. You'll find me there, Mark Carrier, M-A-R-C-C-A-R-R-I-E-R-E. -R -R -E -R -E. Good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.